Hi everyone, this is Anne Emery with Excel for Evaluation. VLOOKUP is my all-time favorite function in Excel, and in this video I'm going to show you why to use VLOOKUP. So in a previous video I showed you when to use VLOOKUP, and the quick answer is that you use VLOOKUP when you want to combine data sets. So a lot of times with evaluation data you might have your demographic data in one spreadsheet, some type of outcome data or scores in another spreadsheet, and what you're trying to do is create this new combined data set with all of your variables in one place so that you can do the analysis and look for patterns across the demographic data and the scores. So why do you use VLOOKUP? Well, to save time when you're merging data sets. Here's a real life example. I was analyzing data from a mental health counseling program, and I knew that 460 people were served. So I wanted to create a full data set with all those 460 people, and I needed their ID numbers to go in order. I didn't want to be missing anybody. So the ID numbers might go one, two, three, four, five. But out of those 460 people, I only had demographic data for 430 of them. That just happens sometimes in real life, you know, no big deal. So the ID numbers in that data set went something like this. One, two, three, five. I was missing data for person number four. And then I had another data set with their counselor's ratings of their progress while they were in this mental health counseling program. And I only had counselor rating data for 137 people. So the ID numbers went something like this. 1, 3, 4, 5. I was missing data for person number 2. So because I was missing data for person number 2 right here, and missing data for person number 4 over here, I can't easily copy and paste, okay? So let's look at what this would look like if you did it without VLOOKUP, the old school way of merging your data sets. So I want to create this combined data set so I can do my analysis. I need to have the demographic data here, and then we'll scroll over to the right. This is where the counselor rating data is going to go. So let's just start filling this in. And again, this is not how you do it with VLOOKUP. This is the old way of doing things that I'm going to show you so you know what to avoid. Okay, so the first person is ID number 1124285. Let's look at our demographic data. 1124285. Okay, they're not in there. I don't see them. What about the scores? 1124285. Okay, they're not there either. So let's go to the next person. 1124682. Let's see if we've got demographic data on them. 1124682, perfect. So let's copy their data and we'll paste it into our new combined spreadsheet. Now let's see if we have counselor rating data for that person. 1124682. One one two four six eight two. Nope, not there either. Okay, so you can see how time-consuming this would be, um, especially with four hundred and sixty people total in this data set. I think that would take all day. I'd probably make a lot of mistakes. I'd probably copy and paste into the wrong sections of my spreadsheet. So that's why you're going to use VLOOKUP. So stay tuned because in the next video, I'm going to show you how to use VLOOKUP. Thank you very much.